Hello, and welcome to Santorini. This has been a bucket place list of hours for I don't know how long, and we are finally here. When you picture Greece, this is the place that you imagine. You got the whitewashed buildings, you got the blue dome churches. This is where you picture. I mean, this is like where everybody wants to come. This place yes. just says love, amore, <laughs> all that. But to get up to the main part where all those beautiful whitewashed buildings and churches are, you got to get from down here to up there because the whole island is a massive amount of volcanoes and mountains. And that is no small feat. So as a matter of fact, once you get off of your tender boat, because the only way you're going to get to the island is via a tender, tender. Like this one. Like the one behind us. Once you do that, you're going to have to either walk, walk. which is about 670 steps straight up. Mm -hmm. You can ride a donkey. <laughs> you can get a transfer to, uh, to the Eva. other side. Wait on the cable car. This is taking about two hours or so, depending on how many ships are in port. Uh, so just be prepared for a little wait. Yeah. Uh, if you got things planned outside Plan of the cruise line, <laughs> make sure you got your time and everything planned accordingly. But we're here. We're going to do a photo shoot today. Uh, we're going to see the blue tops. We're going to have a great, great day of food. And then we have a surprise later on. You'll have to wait to see about that. So come on, enjoy the ride with us, man. Addy and Terry do Santorini. So after about an hour, hour and a half wait, we finally made it to the cable car going all the way up to the top. It's pretty erupted. Uh, you get on here. Now, if you're afraid of heights, you might want to take a donkey. You might want to walk, but us uh, not. <laughs> I think you'll be pretty good. First item on today, we met up with our photographer, Gerald, super professional. We booked him through Flightographer. And if you want to book a professional photographer anywhere, then you can use our code in the description. Five stars. So we just finished up the photo shoot and now we're deciding to have a little bit of lunch with an amazing view. I mean, you gotta just look at that behind us. We are at 1500 BC. It is a risotto wine bar that we walked by as we were going through uh, the different routes. We're gonna have an amazing lunch. You can see the amazing cocktails in the back and uh, we'll let you know what you think about it. And if this is a spot that you might wanna check out cause it's a little bit off the beaten path. There's yes. not that many tours back here at all. So you don't have to worry about the hustle and bustle when you get on land here in Fira. When you get here in Santorini. <laughs> So, the, all these three islands, Santorini, Volcano, and Tiraskia used to be one. Oh. Before the volcano eruption. After the volcano eruption, it uh, created this gap. So that's why they say that Santorini might be the lost Atlantis. Because everything that's went right. underneath. Oh. Yes. That's right. And Ia, it's right over there. In that corner, the last corner where you can see it. Hours oh, wow. okay. So, here we have tzatziki, which is yogurt with garlic and cucumber, and you also have it as a main course. Mm -hmm. uh, this is eggs from fish, white meat fish, mm -hmm. bread and olive oil all smashed together. And this is beans, we let them dry in the sun, and then we smash it with olive oil. And that's all. Okay. 
Let me know what you like best. Thank you. Thank you. And of course, lunch was phenomenal as we tried a whole lot of Greek treats like the phyllo, wrapped yummy. feta covered in local honey. Me and my bro got a tomahawk steak. Our friend got the local lobster grill with a massive amount of caviar on top. Addy got the gyro platter. Yes. Yes, 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 yes. You go get like salt bay. Oh, you go to. No. <laughs> of course, of course, I would. Oh yeah, do your thing. Okay, so you have some pork. Again, healthy dinner. Dinner. What's your thing, bro? Look at that. Mm. Look at wow. that. You want to stop? Huh? Oh. <laughs> Boom! That's how we get down. And we learned that meals are often finished with a shot of ouzo, or in this case, limoncello. After lunch, we walked around Fira a little bit and got an Uber to uh, my surprise that I had for everybody. Okay, guys. We're still in Santorini. This is a gorgeous island. Right now we're in the city of Ia, or the village of Amerovili. And that's still the volcano. How cool is that? But that's not what I'm gonna show you. Right now I'm showing you where we are spending some of Terry's birthday surprise. We are at the resort or the beach club with this view called Cavo Tagu. We are at a bar called Veniza. There he is, birthday boy. But look at this. Look at this. This infinity pool with this gorgeous view with some sunbeds. Wish I would have worn my swimsuit. Really wish I would have worn my swimsuit. <laughs> look at this view from the water. Gorgeous is that. We're here for sunset. So we're hoping to see the sunset over Ia, which is that little city way over there. And we'll see it with a few cocktails. Oh, how cute. Look at that hedgehog. See it from this gorgeous restaurant for some drinks and some bites. Look at the homage to the lava rocks. And it just keeps going all the way around. Isn't that gorgeous? So no matter where you are in this restaurant, you get the gorgeous views of the Aegean Sea. Now cocktails at Cabo Tago were not only beautiful, but dang good. As it got closer to the sunset, the crowd got bigger as everybody wanted to see the beautiful sunset. If you're enjoying the video and you would like to plan your very own intimate couples travel adventure for personalized travel planning and booking, reach out to us via the link in the description below. We are travel advisors, so let's make your dream vacation a reality the Addy and Terry way. After our amazing time at Cabo Taco, it was time to head back to the Resilient Lady. Quick day in Santorini. Now we're back to the cable car. Hey guys, we had a fabulous day. Oh my God, did we? 
in Santorini. Oh Ooh. my gosh. We we realized that we spent most of the day in Fira. Fira. And we spent a little bit of time in Imeroville. Yeah. I think I'm practically Greek now. Let me tell you the tale of the symphony. So here, allow us to explain. We first saw the meter, the goddess of the grain, the field, the harvest, the leaf of the vine, the spirit of the earth, and the mother divine. And then the meter had a daughter. The goddess of the grain had a daughter. For symphony, we saw her on the stage in the very first scene. She appeared from the race. She's our main character. Don't bring in her face. Now, if you've ever been on a virgin voyage, you know that their entertainment is not your normal production show. And because we're on the newest ship, they viewed some new shows. This is Persephone, which is hands down one of my favorites. We love the interaction between the audience and the crew and the costumes were amazing. Later that night, we saw the late night show called Lola's Library, another new production on board Resilient. This is the show that screams adults only cruise ship. Thanks so much for watching. Stay tuned for our next day in Greece on Virgin Voyages Resilient Lady. And if you want to know how this all began, then click this video right here.